Bum, 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 What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Seth, and we are back in some more trolls. This video is going to be a little bit late today. I slept in. I've been really, really busy. But either way, how y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful, and I hope this video makes your day even better. So the local garbage man has returned. At least we're able to actually buy the full-on Luxian dragon, so that's a whole lot of mastery we're going to get out of it. But, bam, bam, trash. Absolute trash it's funny too because I, I ended up doing a stream earlier today that stream will probably end up coming out tomorrow honestly and uh somebody ended up coining how the developers in their latest live stream ended up talking about how luxian was going to end up having a great inventory for this week uh, on top of that apparently he is going to be showing up during black friday and that's going to be like an even better inventory but honestly, I mean, look at this. This is not a great inventory. This is garbage again. Like Luxian has gone back to his roots of being a trash compactor. Like he's even selling us his recycler because that's all he does is recycle garbage items. Like seriously. So you are going to be able to buy 15 dragon souls out of this guy. And the interesting thing is that as you can see, there are nine left because I bought an extra one to double check and find out that yes, in fact, uh, with the recent hotfix where they made it so that the golden horde dragon souls will loot collect back into four dragon coins uh so you can actually buy an overabundance of these dragon souls and if you do you just loot collect them back down into the actual resource so you don't gotta worry about overdoing it um but what we are going to end up getting out of this is the new badge so right down here at the bottom 350 mastery and it just gives you the mount outright so if I take a quick little peek, I was doing some of my tomes earlier. Uh, here's the dragon itself for 250 mastery points. Now, the weird thing is that the developers, I forget if it was the devs or somebody else that ended up mentioning that the, uh, you know, there's the badge itself, which gives 350 mastery. And then there's the dragon mount itself, which gives an additional 250. I'm assuming, I I'm not sure if the dragon actually gives any mastery or something like there there's something out of these two that is not actually giving us mastery apparently because otherwise I would have gotten quite a few extra mastery levels out of it or well maybe I did maybe I got a mastery level and uh, and a couple extra points. I'm not sure though. I, I really don't know. It's weird. Uh, but either way, this is going to be the maxed out dragon. So. You know, there's quite a few things you end up getting out of this, including all of the different auras and junk like that. The dragon himself has some weird wings. He's not going to end up looking the same as Luxian himself for some strange reason. Uh, his wings have actually changed. But this is the not only full-on flying dragon. That actually looks pretty cool because he's got an impressive wingspan. But it's also going to shoot. And I really like the video effects of the shots on this one. Uh, you know, they're fairly fancy, they're fairly beautiful, and brilliantly enough, actually end up having some flux particles come out of it and ragdoll around, you know? I, I think it would be cool. I think it would have been a lot cooler if we had this dragon, like, I know it wouldn't have made sense, but it should, like, when it destroys blocks, it should turn those blocks to flux instead. Especially considering how difficult it is to get this dragon, you know, and how time gated it is. Like, I think it would be really cool if we had this as a means of actually making flux. Especially because there's not really that many ways of making flux as a free-to-play player in this day and age, is there? Uh, so then you can also end up buying 10 sentient shards, 25 dragon coins each. Seems like this is just a lazy, uh, lazy thing that they've been throwing into his inventory lately. It's good for those of you that want to craft the Vanguardian, of course. Uh, but even so, I would still recommend that you actually get the Vanguard through credit pouches. Even though credit pouches are extremely expensive, it's still cheaper to get the class through credit pouches than it is to bother with the sentient shards and all the other resources that are involved with actually crafting the character. Now, here's the thing. This item right here, you already know the devs consider this to be really, really good. Thus, they have it so expensive for the dragon coins. But unfortunately, when the devs end up deciding whether an item is actually like a good thing, you know, like it's like, oh, this should be 25 dragon coins a pop. Because in their mind, this item is extremely time gated that you can end up getting out of beacons, uh, you know, uh, daily rampages and stuff like that. And because of it, their logic is that this item is very, very rare and very, very valuable, which is not the case because as with anything in Trove, uh, they completely negate the idea of this item being valuable in that you need so much of it that it just becomes worthless. 
you know because if, if he was selling maybe 20 of these or even like 50 or if he just sold an infinite amount of these then i could see them selling it for like 30 maybe 50 dragon coins a pop i mean that would be expensive but at least you would be buy, able to buy an infinite amount honestly an infinite amount even at 25 dragon coins i think would be fair because then Luxian would kind of be a way that you could get past the time gate wall you know it's just, it's weird. It really is. So anyways, there's the automatic recycler. This is nothing more than a loot collector, but reskinned. I still prefer the normal loot collector. We have these recyclers, but we just don't use them. It looks exactly like you see. And then the standard signs. Oh, geez. That's, that's super lame. Like seriously, devs. Boo. D thumbs down on that one. That is not cool at all. So if we go to our build inventory, you'll see, uh, where, where do I have them? Here are these signs, the trove sign, the comments sign, the danger sign, the arrow sign. Uh, there's another sign that I don't actually have crafted right now, but very, very useful items. You can, uh, you know, type custom messages in them, put them in your builds. Very, very useful. You pretty much need them if you're going to be doing building in any form. Because uh, you can end up adding lore to the world or just instructions to players and stuff like that. But uh, they actually used to be in this cash shop for cubits. So you would just be able to buy them by just getting your daily cubit login and stuff. And well, now for some reason they throw it into Luxian's inventory, which is fine. 30 coins for all those signs. That's not bad. That's pretty cheap. But he's time gated. Again, like we just need a merchant that just sells all this stuff. Uh, and then there's the Gabby Gobbler. So let me actually swap over to, uh, I'll show this off on the Fate Trickster. So the Gabby Gobbler is going to end up having 5% to attack speed uh, and five movement speed. It's not really, it's not really a great ally, but I, I like it as far as the look. Uh, this was actually from last year's Thanksgiving event. It looks like they're just outright skipping over that event this year, which is kind of weird. Like, seriously. Normally, we would have uh, turkey invaders that would end up coming down instead of the Infinium dude invaders or whatever, you know? So, kind of weird that they didn't, skipped right over it and just threw it into Luxian's inventory. I understand why with all the Game Ago stuff going on, but uh, they better get on the ball by next year. Like, seriously. So, then there's the turkey throne. This was an R item that you could end up crafting out of it. It's just a throne. Nothing fancy, nothing special, but it's got that nice little flap for the front seat whenever you end up jumping, which is kind of cool. And I don't know, if you want to levitate around, sure. I don't know why it, like, throbs. That's kind of weird. Also, it's supposed to be like a turkey tail, but it doesn't really look like it. Uh, then the Mystifying Meatloaves and the to uh, Toasty Coaster. As you can see, I can continuously buy these, so these are tradable. That's what that means if they're tradable. Not for any of these necessarily, like the sign thing I don't think is tradable because that's just a new item that I don't have in my inventory. I've never gotten it once. Uh, this thing I think is tradable, but these are not, of course. Just, just focus on these. So the meatloaf was actually a daily login item, probably one of the worst mounts in the entire game. Like seriously, it's supposed to be like a meatloaf. Uh, I, I don't know what, like, what psychopath decided to actually put this in the game it's lazy it's all one color it's kind of just the standard affair that you expect from the developers it's it's disgusting dude like seriously it's probably it, like i said it is the worst mount in the entire game plus it's a worm reskin uh and then last but not least there is going to be the toasty uh coaster so this one's not bad I, I still wouldn't recommend that you invest into any of these, but this one at least has some color, man. Like, look at that. It's got some nice fading to it. It actually looks kind of out of place for Trove because it's actually pretty of quality, you know? Like, it's, uh, of course, this is not, no, it's made by Miss Delicious. It's, of course, it's not made by the devs. Uh, they, of course, put the video effects in more than likely, but we see the honey video effects from the honey dragon uh, thrown into actually being like cheese whiz coming off of it and it being a carpet mount. Uh, no, it's not gliding. Really? Every single carpet mount is supposed to glide. So I find that very strange that this one doesn't like that's kind of weird. But either way, it's just a giant cheese whiz sandwich and it's making me hungry. So uh, with that, I think I got to go and get myself some food, guys. Either way, Lexian, not great. You know, uh, there's not really anything going on with Trove right now is a problem. And uh, just a quick heads up, guys, too. Uh, there might not be any Trove videos next week and on. I'm going on a bit of vacation uh, with my girlfriend for the week. And I don't know if I'm going to have, like, Trove videos stocked up. More so because there's not really anything for me to cover lately. Because the devs haven't been doing streams and stuff. And there's not really anything new to talk about. Uh, but I'll, I'll see if I can end up getting some videos stocked up. 
Uh, hopefully I can, but if not, uh, I'm just saying that there might be a stop from the Trove videos next week, and then whenever, uh, you know, when I end up getting back, we'll get back to it. But either way, thanks for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. I gotta go and get myself some actual breakfast. This thing looks delicious. I would appreciate if you would like, sub, hit that notification bell. If you want to support me, you can always sponsor the YouTube channel with that join button down below. Buy some of my real-life merch, or you can check out the link to Gawkbox, which is where you can donate to me for absolutely free by just playing phone games for a few minutes. Thanks for watching. Sayonara. Stay epic.